Compiling Unicode engine on Windows requires 5 steps. I will only show the last 3 in detail. Downloading it is something I will not show. Now, to install it, let me quickly show my current configuration by opening the installer. So here I have only those options selected. That's the bare minimum to compile Unicorn Engine. Because I want you to focus on automation and create byte files or scripts, I will start by opening a command prompt with the native tools. We verify that CMake is installed. Let's go to the root directory, create a product directory, and then search for git.exe so we can execute it. Now the question is, what will we download? So let's open Firefox, search for GitHub Unicorn Engine. Here we have it. So this is the URL to clone it. I'll speed up this search so we can type something. We start creating our git command to download the code we compile. We copy paste the exe location. And then we add the URL itself. Enter to do some downloading magic. So when we're ready, we'll go into the unicorn directory. And then we'll open the explorer into this directory. I will quickly show you the CMake list file. What we have here are the options we can use to compile Unicorn Engine. No time to waste, let's quickly read the compile instructions. Feel free to read this file at your own pace. I will not take the easy option which they suggest, I will take the more difficult option because it provides more customization in my opinion. Let's copy paste these commands so we can execute them. Okay, what is this error? Um, the build directory already exists. Really? I didn't really see this. Fine, let's go into it then. Then we will create a byte file in this directory. Press enter to create the new file. Echo off. It's a start for a typical batch file. Let me control C these two commands. And then here, do you see this? These are the options we also saw in the CMake list file. We will modify them. Let me paste it. So what I will demonstrate now is modifying this command so that you can really customize the compilation of Unicorn Engine. Let's go back to the CMake list file. I'm sorry, the magic is at the top actually. The option that I really like is this Unicorn Arch because it allows you to only support specific architectures for emulation, which will result in a smaller DLL or XA, depending on your needs. Size does matter. For the purpose of this video, I will select the x86 and ARM architectures, Ctrl C to copy, and then we add a minus D argument to the CMake command. In the final batch file, I will have added some of these extra options too. Let me close this. Let me summon the power of video editing. Ta -da 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 -da, the full batch file. Let me quickly give an overview of what the batch file does. Here we have the clean option. Put something here if you want to force a full rebuild. If you have a different version of Visual Studio installed, you can modify the compiler option too. For the purpose of this video, I've put the x86 and ARM architecture options here. I will upload the best file to my git, but you will have to modify the best file for your own needs. No script kit is allowed. Remember that you have to add the extra options twice. Here you can configure the platform, 32-bit or 64-bit, and also the build type, the big O release. The actual magic of this script happens here. So here we have the CMake command, which I modified a bit. Also the msbuild command. I also added a robot copy to make sure that we have the clean files for full rebuild. And I use robot copy to copy an empty directory, which I create at the top and delete at the bottom. I think this is good enough for now. Let me close this and let's do the actual building. Here we go. We are building it. Now let's review what we are actually building. Oh, no, no, not good. There are way too many files. We can see all the architectures here and that's not what I wanted. We have to abort the script, Control C to abort. Now let me quickly edit the batch file again.
here we have the issue the double quote should be at the end here i did it correctly fine with the error fixed we can save the file delete the old directory delete the wrong directory and restart building and now while we are building this let's review the directory again okay everything is looking correct now let me drag this to the right so we can have a better view of what is going on and while we are building this i can again show you something else when we open the project file we can see what other release types unicorn has made available to us so here we have the debug build a release build and i think a very interesting one is the minimum size and also the release with debug information and now you know how to customize your build of unicorn engine and you no longer are dependent on vcpkg which is excellent in the meantime let's also compare the library build with the dll build so in the lib output directory we have the dot lib files and as you will see the dll build will have the same files but also the dll file which you will use i do have to be honest with you here i'm not a modern c expert the library build is a bit non-standard and will require the use of pragma comment lib let me show you I will open a command prompt to help me in getting the file names. A nice little trick from my book. I think nowadays it's even possible to pipe the output into the clipboard without having to use copy. I will now open Notepad and build the coder you have to put into your C or C++ source code files. The Pragma comment lib preprocessor directive offered by Visual C++ really comes into handy here. If you don't know what it does, please don't be a script kitty and look it up in the documentation. So here we have it. Everything is ready now. And let me add a comment to and a note to myself that there should be a better way probably and I will need to investigate it. I think everything has been built. Indeed, it finished. So let's view the directory size of everything. 200 megabyte not too bad i think if you build it with all the architectures that it will be around one gigabyte that's it for me today i hope you liked this video if you do please like and subscribe thank you and now you can go out to emulate and exploit software have fun